my right, accompanied to ringside by Timothy Thatcher. In the flesh. Where have you been? I've been around. Not here, but around. Resting, recuperating. Of course, it was uh, a year ago to the day I had the opportunity to sit down with Dunham and Dijak and interview him on who was on his short list of opponents that he wanted to wrestle before he left the independent wrestling scene, and Walter was one of the few names on that list. So the fact that this is uh, probably their one and only meeting, super special match for Donovan Dijak to go out on. Pretty fantastic, pretty great for me to be here too, considering Donovan Dijak was the last man I wrestled inside of a Beyond Wrestling ring. I don't know why you want to wrestle Walter anyway. I want to wrestle like Scotty Slater or something, right? <laughs> yeah, you want to go out, uh, go out on an easy type of match, but these are probably the two biggest guys in Beyond Wrestling, or well, at least that we've seen here today. And this should be nothing less than super hard hitting and devastating, I would assume. Yeah, believe it or not, Walter, as big as he is, giving up a few inches to Donovan Dijak. I think every time Dijak enters the room, it always amazes me just how tall this guy actually is. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. You don't see too many athletes in the realm of professional wrestling these days as big as Walter and Donovan Dijak. Truly a sight to behold. That's why you gotta see Beyond Wrestling in person. Of course, Tanya, Nick, Paul, they have an awesome job too. Bringing it to a worldwide audience, youtube.com slash Beyond Wrestling, oh, youtube.com slash Beyond Demand. Tempers flaring. Solid chest to chest action there with those shoulder tackles. You wanna talk about the chest like a Walter's chest? It looks like he been through a battle or two last evening, maybe. Of course, Dijak wrestled Timothy Thatcher last night. Who was on the outside of the ring right now? Another oh. first time meeting. And there we just saw the, uh, the meeting of the uh, the immovable force. I and think the unstoppable <laughs> objects. It like is one of those types of things, but we did have the first big bump of the evening oh, here between the these two. It looked like he was letting the moment sink in. And Walter just cut him right off with a well placed boot to the midsection. It's one of those things. Oh. Went for that big overhand. Fear, let me ask you, a lot of times you see emotion playing a factor in a match when you let your opponent get under your skin, you get mad, you get frustrated, but for Donovan Dijak, um, you know, I mean, when you competed for your last match for Beyond Wrestling, you know, oh. do you concentrate just on your opponent? Do you let it sink in that this is the last time that this is happening? Like, uh, for me, I always let it sink in a little bit. Dijak was going for that big, uh, oh, sleeper hold! Tell Dijak's concentration's off, a little bit of showboating cost him right there. He's letting the moment sink in. You know, it, it's one of those things where... Oh. Big time German suplex. Well, you let it sink in that much, you're going to be taking a trip to the hospital courtesy of oh, Austria's Walter. Double underhook. Two count only. You're not going to pin a class sack like Donovan Dijak without hooking a leg. That's the thing. Like, you want, you want to savor the moment. You want to live in it. But against a guy like Walter, you can't really do that. So Dijak missed a couple chops, went for his jump up, uh, senton, twisting, splash bomb, missed. But the animosity, I mean, between Dijak and Ring Camp from, uh, again, stemming from last night. Oh. 
a lot of people think a chop, chops hurt and they're a big slap to the chest, but when a guy like Walter does it, it's like a shotgun Ooh. hitting you. Look at the welts on Dijak's back. Never mind the chest of Walter. Big time slam. Oh, earthquake! That's one way to use your size to your favor. The old John Tenta vertical splash. Dijak's mouth is wide open. He is struggling to he get air into his lungs. He is gasping for air. Big oh, time mouth hear? breather right now. Oh, see Walter going to that left arm. You think this is a sound strategy? Well, I mean, it looked like he's been working on most of the chest with the forearm and that vertical splash. Did the German suplex to the back of the neck. This is one of those extremities that kind of connects to both of those things. Dijak perhaps winding up, fired off a big shot. Right to the belly, Walter. Oh, oh Walter nasty stopped. gut wrench. Man, if you go to the arm, like a lot of Dijak's offense is picking guys up, throwing them. It's true. Feast your eyes. We've seen get into that signature maneuver from a number of positions. Seemingly unbelievable strength every time. But Dijak is just a freak athlete. Oh. No, thank you. You ever get chopped before, Denver? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, big time European. We've seen a lot of those this evening, as expected. You know, once is enough. <laughs> Never mind in a match when you've got somebody like Walter. Not only the chops, but the Whoa. boots going after the collarbone, going after the mouth. Stomping a mud hole. And when your mouth is open, that's how you break your jaw. You get caught with one of those errant shots. Yeah, trying to gasp for those air, then you know, one of those things kind of whacks you, your jaws offline for a little bit. I'm telling you, Walter came to be on wrestling here today to make a statement. It's not, you know, when you're a guy the size of Walter, it's not often that you get requested or called out to, to wrestle a match against, you know? So I'm sure he took exception to that. I wonder if Walter's strategy is any different coming to this match, especially since he's normally oh, he's the larger athlete. Weaved out the double underhook. Ooh. Ooh, back to that buckle. Walter came charging in, he was a step behind that a big with the elbow. elbow. I don't know, Dijak still looks like he's got googly eyes. He's still fighting from underneath. He always has googly eyes. Oh! Nasty double elbow combo. Maybe starting to regain his bearings, starting to get pumped up. Could have been a mistake reverse. though. Oh, Dijak staying one step ahead. Boom, book a T kick. There's that corkscrew spinning big boot. See that arm. Oh, dropping those knees. Normally they're in towards the chest. Those hit the side of his head. Dijak's arms giving him a lot of trouble, maybe even, like you said, extending to the pectoral. Still gasping for air through that my mouth. Oh! Hooked him. I mean, the big arm of Walter wrapped around your neck and throat like that. Oh! He could be knocked out! That's not good! Oh! Holy smokes! That was flush right against the side of the head. I mean, Fury, I've got to imagine, now Walter's gone for the choke a couple times. Dijak is probably trying to reorganize his strategy to avoid being put in the choke, and then the last thing he's expecting coming is that enormous foot of Walter right for the face. Oh, we're gonna see the power bomb. Walter, very well known for his power bomb. That I do know. He's so strong. Ugh. It's like watching, you know, I, I wasn't around back then. It is my birthday, I'm only 32, but I would imagine this is what it was like watching the dinosaurs fight. <laughs> Two big boys, here it is. Oh, I thought he was gonna land on his skull. Oh, went for the choke breaker bomb. Big boot. Oh, stopped him again. Larry! This is just a big, ugly fight. Dijak can't seem to get any offense strung together whatsoever. A couple strikes here and there, but he hasn't been able to land any of his big moves yet. And he may not be able to. Oh, there's that sleeper again. See him oh. gasping for air through the mouth. Dijak able to find a counter. There's that, that moonsault, moonsault, moonsault. Oh, onto the knee. Powerbomb. Stacked up. She wrote. Oh! Incredible lower body strength from Donovan Dijak to be able to push a man the size of Walter off of him when he is stacked up on his head and neck. 
Walter, just by looking at his expression, is starting to get frustrated. He has to be. You gotta think, like, when you hit a man with as many things as you hit him with, and he still can't get that three count. Like, what is Thatcher still fighting for at this point in time? All right, I get it, I get it. Well, you don't think that Timothy Thatcher's gonna be a, a, a factor physically in this matchup, yeah. do you? He doesn't have to be at this point. Like, Walter has his match pretty much well in hand. I don't know, he's keeping an eye on Dijak, and Dijak is moving over to that corner. He does look very sinister knelt down over there, doesn't he? Dijak still gasping for air through that mouth. You think with that nose, he wouldn't have to gasp for air through the mouth. Had to do it. A big a target to break. Oh! Just not strong uh, he enough. He can't get him up. He's too hurt. That power bomb took everything out of him. Oh! Oh! Jesus, Jesus Christ! Chop, forearm, European. Another. You hear the shots here. The flesh on flesh. Crowd doesn't really know what to do. Oh, Dijak might be for that sit out. No, oh. and nothing. He's not getting anything. Oh, on Walter. snap! German suplex. Him, there we go. There's that discus boot again. Face your eyes. Face your eyes. Oh, he got it. Oh, turn him inside out with the variant. Fischerize essentially being the first thing Dijak gets connected with this whole match wasn't enough to take Walter out. Wasn't even enough to take him off his feet. I think the momentum of his clothesline is what knocked him down. We've got a capacity crowd on their feet. And they're always on their feet. An unbelievable match unfolding in front of us. Oh, but see, it sounds like this. I don't miss being in the ring. Because... Damn, dude, you got to dig deep. Your life's on the line. Dijak's got his wife in attendance today. I mean, I... It, trying to go out on a high note instead of going out on a stretcher. And here we go. Walter kind of egging him on. Give me your best shot. Look at him. Is that all you got? Oh! Thuds. Just big, massive thuds. Frying pan-sized hands hit you in the chest. Just imagine that. finish him! You saw Walter looking down, checking to see if his chest was bleeding after that. It's like 10, like 10 forearms right to the side of the head. And Walter's in this for the long haul. Oh, now the one hand strike. straight to the face. Nasty. There's that discus boot again. He continuously hits it straight forward. Walter invincible? What's going on? Ah. Back into the choke. Dijak's on a bed. He, he jumped in like a bear hug to stop that big boot from coming. I just got him in that sleeper hold. It's nasty. Dijak's fading. Dijak, look at that arm. Watch, keep an eye on that right arm. Walter oh, there it is. Legs out from underneath. Eliminate the vertical base. Referee Kevin Quinn checking those arms. Uh oh, Dijak might be going to sleep. The deafening crowd trying to keep him away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got him up again. And a second oh. feast your eyes. That time Walter's down. Got it. One, two, three. What a match. That's a hoss fight if I've ever seen one. What a career for Donovan Dijak and Beyond Wrestling.
Thank you guys so much. I'm going to miss this so fucking much. 